Hey everybody, I'm going to do crab cakes today and I'm going to be using imitation crab meat. It's been fully cooked and of course the real crab meat would be better but the imitation is what I have and it will be good um, even though uh, it is the imitation. So I'm going to go ahead and put you down so you can see what's going on. So we're going to put our wet ingredients first and I'm going to put one egg. And I'm going to put one and a half tablespoons of mayonnaise. And I'm going to use um, spicy mustard in this and I, you don't use much about a half of a teaspoon I use a little more but that's okay and this is a hearty spicy brown Zatarain's mustard uh, any spicy mustard will do and you just want to beat this up together because you put everything together at once you're gonna have parts of your crab cake missing egg or mustard or something like that so anyway you just get that mixed up and that's good and then I'm gonna take this is 14 ounce imitation crab meat and you don't whether you're using real crab meat or you're using the imitation you don't want to to um, get it your pieces too small because you want to taste chunks of the crab meat. You don't want just little tiny bits. So just break that up, and if it's the real crab meat, it will break up a lot easier than this. So maybe I should have had this broken up a little bit already. And I'm sorry that I didn't because it's taken just a little bit of time. But this is a quick uh, dish to put together. Maybe have it with some fries or tater tots or potato salad. A baked potato would be good, some baked beans, corn, just anything. And some garlic bread, I think, would make it real good. And um, I'm also going to make a little dipping sauce. And to make the dipping sauce, you just use mayonnaise. And whatever amount of mayonnaise you use, then you use one-fourth that amount of mustard. You can use spicy mustard, or you can use um, regular mustard, but that's all there is to the dipping sauce, and that's real good. Then we're going to use some uh, dry breadcrumbs. I don't know if I turned that around or not. Anyway, these are just plain dry bread crumbs and I'm going to use about a tablespoon and we're going to use some parsley and that's about a teaspoon maybe just a little bit more of the parsley some salt and pepper I'm not a huge pepper person, so I don't put a whole lot at one time. And we're going to put some Old Bay. And I'm going to put about a teaspoon of Old Bay. And if you want to, you could put some hot sauce. But I'm not going to. And so there's about a, a teaspoonful. 
So I was just checking to make sure I had everything in here and you just beat this up. Get it good and mixed up. I'm breaking those chunks just a little bit smaller, a few of them. And that looks like it's coated pretty good. And so what I'm going to do next then is I'm going to take my old pizza pan that I cook everything in. I have sprayed... Uh, Pam on it and that's all you need because you have mayonnaise in your um, your recipe that's going to help with your oils and for it not to stick and so I'm just going to put uh, put it down here like this not too big And the egg should help keep it together. Sometime I would like to have this with real uh, crab. I just think that would probably be delicious. And I love seafood, and I watch channels where they have the the um, the good seafood cooked on the cooking channels, and that just looks delicious. And so, I've about got this prepared. I'm just going to add a little bit more to some of them. There's really not room for another one. Okay. So, here it is. Where they're ready to go in the oven. And we're going to put this on broil and let them go until um, they're finished so uh, when they're done I'll come back and we'll have a taste test and like I said they're gonna be on broil so I'll see you back shortly the crab cakes are done and they turned out beautifully they broiled 15 minutes on one side I turned them over and they broiled 10 minutes on the other side I broiled them on low so if you use real crab meat you may not need to broil them quite as long I just did them till they were golden brown. So this is what they look like. And I'll bring the pan up a little bit so you can see better. And when I turned them, they held together real nice. So let's give it a taste. And I have one on the plate here, and the dipping sauce, like I told you, is three-fourths mayonnaise, one-fourth uh, Dijon mustard. So I'm going to cut a bite here. It cuts real easy. I'm going to put a little sauce on it and take a taste. I am... Really surprised that that turned out as good as it did. Not the ingredients, but the imitation crab. It's real tender, and it has a good flavor. So, I am real pleased with this. And I hope that you give it a try also, and that you enjoy it. But this meal cost maybe $3. And so... Thank you so much for watching, and have a great evening, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.